today I'm going to talk about reading and the first question, what is reading? Please um, take notes. Now, taking notes will help you to remember. Um, if you just listen, then 80% of what we hear goes in one, eye, one ear and straight out of the other. We forget. Reading is a bit better. When we read, we're saying the words in our head. So reading is like listening, but we're also seeing the words. So our eyes are remembering as well as our ears. Now, speaking is a bit better. We still forget 60% of what we read. When we speak, then we are listening. We can hear what we say. We're also using our mouth and the muscles in our mouth are moving. So we have some muscle memory. And also, probably if we're speaking, we're thinking. And we have more chance of remembering what we say. But still 40% we forget. Writing, then, if we write, then we are using the muscles in our hand. And as well as that, we're seeing what we've written. We're probably saying what we've written so we can hear in our ear. And also, we're probably thinking. So writing is a very good way of remembering. We can write on paper, take notes on paper. You can write on a tablet. It's better to write than to type because when you're typing, you tend to just put the words into the computer. Whereas when you write, you're thinking about space and thinking in two dimensions. And this is better for organising your thoughts. And the process of organising your thoughts helps you to remember. So please, please take notes. Also, there may be a test for homework. And if you take notes, you may be able to get the right answers. So when you're writing, I'd like you to write down key words. So think about the main ideas, the big ideas. Uh, questions. So... You probably have some questions. You should have some questions. Please write down your questions. Don't write down my questions. Write down your ideas. In fact, you can write anything. Oh, I need to get some bread for my breakfast tomorrow. Make a note. Anything you write down will help you to remember. Because as you use your muscles, you're making your brain more plastic. And when your brain becomes more plastic, you have a chance of remembering. So don't write down everything, but please write down something. So um, we talked about reading. We're talking about reading. And there are, in fact, four different kinds of reading. Depending on what we're reading, we read differently. One of these kinds of reading is called skimming. Then there's scanning. Then there is intensive reading and then extensive reading. Now skimming means reading. Skimming is when something just bounces along the top. You may know about skimmed milk which is taking the top of the milk and what skimming means is you're just reading over the top and trying to find out what is the gist, what's the general idea, what is this about, what's the topic. Scanning is reading for specific information. So you have a question, you have a book or a text, and you're trying to find some information. Intensive reading is for complete understanding. So you're trying to understand almost everything. You want to know exactly what this information is contained in this piece of writing. And extensive reading generally is for fun. Um, here are a few examples. A newspaper is something we would usually skim through a newspaper. You don't read the whole thing. You just look through, try to get a general idea of the news. Uh, you may go in and dig in and, and read something more closely, but newspaper, usually we're just skimming. Um, a train timetable, again, you don't read the whole train timetable from the beginning to end. You have, you know what time it is, you know where you want to go, so you look through and find your information that you want. Intensive reading, um, a recipe, if you're doing some cooking, 
and you want to make something, you need to read the recipe carefully, read every single step. If you're making okonomiyaki and you forget to put the egg in, it won't come out very well. So a recipe, you need to do intensive reading. And um, intensive reading, a magazine, for example, you will want to sit down, relax and read for enjoyment and for fun. Um, a textbook, you may skim through a textbook sometimes to find out what it's about. You may scan a textbook, for example, you're trying to find a particular answer to a question, maybe for homework. You may want to read a textbook intensively, read very carefully to find some specific information and find in detail about that. And you may want to read it extensively. How about these? Here are some more things that you may read. Um, what type of reading would you do for a comic? How about a dictionary? What about an email from your teacher? How would you read that? How about a novel? What about a telephone directory? How about a test question? And what kind of reading would you use for a website? Please um, think about these questions and they may come up later. So we have uh, different types of reading and there are differences when we're reading between our first language and our foreign language or second language. Uh, my first language is English. Uh, your first language is probably Japanese. And English is a foreign language for you. So when we're reading in our first language, we automatically choose which strategy to use. So we know without thinking do I need to do scanning or skimming or intensive reading, extensive reading? Uh, generally, scanning in your first language is relatively easy. And also skimming is relatively easy. So you can look at a piece of text and go in and find the information you want. You can look at a text and get the general idea, get the gist of it fairly easily. On the other hand, if we're reading in a foreign language, it tends to be not automatic. Scanning and skimming are often difficult, sometimes impossible, and reading in a foreign language often is not fun. And this means usually when you're reading in a foreign language, it's intensive reading. So reading, you're trying to understand everything that's going on. And this means you have a heavy cognitive load. This means that your brain is working very hard. Now, I'd just like to talk a bit about the brain 